Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Gimmick 2.9 plugin onto GIMP 2.10. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. I'm going to go to this website. I'll put a link to this same site in the YouTube description. This is where we can download the Gimmick plugin for uh, GIMP 2.10. So here you can see the latest stable version is 2.9, so that's the version we're going to download. And here we can see the installation for GIMP 2.10, and it's for Windows. So you can download it for other operating systems, uh, but we're going to be downloading the Windows installer here. So let's click the installer download. It's going to take you to this site where, you, where it's going to automatically download the plugin. And we'll open up this folder on my desktop. Let's go ahead and drag and drop this file into this folder here okay so before i install this plugin i've just downloaded the latest version of gimp which is gimp 2.10.18 so i'll put a link in the youtube description showing you how to download and install the latest version of gimp i would advise you do that before you install this plugin so once you've done that you can double click on this link and you're going to see this window pop up windows protection it's going to say that it doesn't really recognize this file you can click more info here let me just do that one more time i'll close this and you click more info here and just say run anyway so you see this little prompt pop up you click ok there's an option to change choose different language if you want to do that and then we'll click next and we'll click accept click next next and then install so this is quite a popular plugin i wouldn't worry about that prompt saying that it's uh, not safe to install or whatever it just doesn't recognize this particular version because it's quite new so we'll click finish and then we'll load up GIMP software. So let's load up GIMP and give it a test. Okay, so to test this software, we need to download a picture. So I'm gonna go and open up the web browser quickly and we'll go to Unsplash. I'm just gonna download this particular picture. You can download any picture. I'll put a link to the same image in the YouTube description. Let's just open up this folder, drag and drop that into this folder. And then we'll open up GIMP software. Here it is. And let's just drag and drop that picture into GIMP. So it's loaded up in GIMP and we've installed this new plugin. So let's experiment with that plugin quickly. Let's just show you a few things that you can do and then you can go and experiment it with yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on the move tool. Let's click on this first picture and let's go to filter. And then we've got a new option here, gimmick plugin here. It's on 2.9, the latest version. When we click that, it's gonna open up this window. And you're gonna get all these options. Now it's way too much for me to try and go through today. There's just almost an unlimited amount of options in here. There's so much stuff you can do. But if we were to click on artistic, you can start clicking on these options and you'll see the plugin uh, having its effect on the image, right? <clears throat> and there's um, you know, there's a there's such a wide range of um, tools and uh, and features in here that there's just simply too much to explain. You can see it's quite in depth and you can experiment with this and you can come up with some really nice creative artwork. It's really, really down to you for you to go through and you can see like that's just one section here, right? Underneath artistic, you put all of these different categories, all of these different tools and plugins. Uh, one that I like to use sometimes is the ASCII art. <clears throat> I think this one's pretty cool. So like it will take the characters and it will use them to um, create the picture. So sometimes you see artwork like that, right? So how did they do that? They may have used this plugin, they may have used a different one, but no one's going to go there and lay out each every individual character, right? So let's use this plugin or this particular filter. Let's, what you need to do is once you've chosen the filter and you've set all the settings that you want them to be, you need to go ahead and click the apply button here. Apply. And once you click apply, this, this uh, bar will move to the side. You need to give it a little bit of time to go and create that image for you. It can take a few seconds, can take up to a minute sometimes. Uh, you just got to be patient, right? So that's done. It's done that image. Let's click the OK button. And now you can see the ASCII art. So when we zoom into here, you can see all of the <clears throat> pixels or the, the artwork has been created by using these characters. So if you zoom right in, you'll see that. So that's just one example. You can press Control Z to undo that. Then you can go back to the filter, go back to Gimmick Plugin, and you can choose something else. You can go and experiment with this. Uh, another nice one is the borders one if I can find it there's so much in here frames and in frames you've got nice ones like uh, you can do like a painting right so it creates this painting you can even change the color of the uh, I believe of the uh, the frame right so you can go and change the color of the frame uh, you can do all sorts of things in here you can have like this little sort of fade around the edge right so you can fade it in 
there's patterns so you can use a patterned one like this it's just like a regular standard so if you just want to put a border around the picture and just make it look half decent with a border then you know it's job done you've got like ones that are like this where you've got the image in the background and you've got this overlaid with the drop shadow uh, and images in the background it's blurred out so that's called blurred you've got cube ones that looks a bit strange you've got fuzzy ones i don't know i'm not sure okay it's got a fuzzy edge around the edge you've got like this mirrored one so there's loads of different ones one that i like to use sometimes is the polaroid so i think that's pretty cool so you can quickly create this sort of polaroid image and um you can change the shadow the drop shadow which direction is dropping you can do loads of different things in here lots of different options for you to go and experiment with you can change the angle so much stuff to do in here so we'll stick with that let's click ok and then it will go and process that i did a tutorial before where i showed how we can create lots and lots of um polaroid images by stacking all the images and running all of them in a sequence right so this is actually being generated on its own layer so it will sit on its own layer you see so when i zoom out you can see it's on its own layer and the original image is just sitting behind it so it's nice that it can um you know retain the original image but still go and create this piece of artwork for you so let's minimize this you can see there's a ton of plugins for you to go and experiment with go and have fun with that go and make something creative experiment with it there's probably about one million options inside of there for you to go and play around with uh, i haven't even started to look at it to be honest it's the latest version i haven't used it for a while but previously i used to use it quite frequently just to make some nice sort of creative artwork for social media so that's how you go about installing the gimmick 2.9 plugin onto gimp 2.10.18 so make sure you download and install the latest version of gimp first then go ahead and download the gimmick plugin install that and you're good to go i hope you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial <laughs>